Hello, my name is Gwen Lawrence. I have been involved in this workshop this afternoon. I've really enjoyed learning how to take photographs with other deaf friends, especially exploring the outdoors with my camera. I think this course is going to give me a lot more confidence to take this further. I think it's going to take time to achieve my goals, but as I say, I feel a lot more confident in taking photos. I've never done photography before. This is the first time that I've been involved with something like this. Um, I've just used a, a normal camera. So as I say, this is the first time and I'm really pleased with the photographs that I've produced today. Thank you. Hi, my name's Kelly Ann Taylor. I was a participant in Johnny's workshop and it, I really wanted to be involved in that because I felt not confident in my skills before I attended the course. I didn't know how to use my camera but now I feel like it's helped a lot in that area. The last couple of days have been fantastic. I've learned so much. So I've learned about light and shadow. I've learned how to work with other people that have not had any photography skills, but also those that have. I've learned how to um, communicate with other photographers, so I've really enjoyed the course. Thank you. Hi, my name's Gary Burkett. I have been involved in the photography club for a while, but I've learned about ISO, shutter speed, in particular during this workshop. I've learned about the different functions of my camera and I've learned about shadow on um, the subject's faces. To have a direct communication with the tutor enabled me to have confidence to ask direct questions. I've learned so much more than I thought I would and I'm going to hopefully carry on with this learning journey. Thank you. My name's Cathy Spedding. The photography group today in the course, yesterday as well, has, has taught me so much more than I thought I would learn. I've learned about shutter speed and ISO. I've learned about light and shadow. I've learned about all of the different technical aspects of the camera, light and dark, and incorporating that in photography. Um, my photos are really professional. I'm so happy and pleased with those and I'd love to learn a lot more about this subject matter. It's been fantastic and today outside with the with the other deaf participants has been amazing. The weather's been great and we've had direct communication with one another instead of going through an interpreter we've helped each other and we've shared ideas with one another. It's been lovely. So I've really loved it. I've thoroughly enjoyed myself. I've learned about aperture light and dark. I've learned about confidence in picking my camera up and honestly it's been brilliant so I would love to do it again. A lot more opportunities required. Um, thank you very much for your funding. My name's Millie Perkin. I was involved in Johnny's workshop in the photography course. I've learned about the triangle model, the ISO, shutter speed, aperture, how to align those different aspects of photography. I've learned a lot more in light uh, in items such as light and shadow and how you Gauge the light. I don't know. Don't know what else. It's been really useful for me to have an understanding of photography, but also have that 
direct interaction with the tutor because he uses sign language directly. It was a lot easier compared to trying to speak to hearing people. I wouldn't have confidence to ask questions, but I felt a lot more confident in asking another deaf person to brush up my skills really and also the group everyone was deaf so we've all come together and worked together. I would like to carry on with my photography skills in the future, absolutely. My name's Alan Reed. The first time I picked a camera up was yesterday morning. Um, I've had a camera for a while, but meeting Johnny has been really inspirational. He's taught me how to use the camera. His skills are amazing out of this world, and I feel like I've learned so much more um, initially I didn't understand about the triangle, I didn't understand it at all and I think that with practice and the speed it's been paced appropriately, it's been fantastic. We're now outside in the park, everyone's taking photographs of things they can see, it's been a beautiful day and he's still teaching us new things. Definitely I would love to carry on with um, my photography skills and a lot more opportunities required. Hi, my name's Ryan Gregson. <coughs> I come to learn photography, something new. I've never done a manual camera before, I've never used that, I've always used an automatic. So that's helped me so much to um, be a lot more comfortable in using a manual camera. I'm really happy with the outcome of the day um, and everyone was deaf in the room. It was brilliant. Everyone was easy to understand and he used British Sign Language himself, which was really useful. Hi, my name's Paul Miller. I have been on the course this weekend to learn a lot more about photography. Johnny was the tutor. I found the course really useful. I've done photography for quite some time, but there was things that I'd never learned before, I've never seen before, items of the camera, the technical aspects I wasn't aware of historically. Uh, yeah, I feel a lot more comfortable and confident. The room in the death club was really appropriate. I've really enjoyed the course, it was nice. And yeah, definitely it was useful to, to learn new skills. I'm gonna definitely continue. My name is Craig Bird. I came because I wanted to meet the famous photographer. I know he does a lot of weddings, so it was brilliant to meet him. I will. I learned a lot about light and shade, um, and it was really interesting. I feel a lot more confident in my skills. I would like to carry on with with more photography in the future. Johnny was a fantastic trainer his slides and powerpoint was brilliant i've never met anybody like him before i was gobsmacked amazing i'm really satisfied that i've met this famous guy hi my name is rachel i'm one of the students today i've done the workshop it was really interesting yesterday and today to spend two days with 15 deaf people at the deaf club, everybody used sign language and they came from all over the northeast. We um, 
I often find that hearing courses in colleges and other provisions aren't accessible for deaf people. They don't, they're not um, culturally affirmative and we don't feel like we fit into that group. Even with, a, with an interpreter, we, we, we aren't hearing, so we're not going to feel like we belong. But I think this weekend we've really found the benefit of having a deaf, a deaf cohort and a deaf tutor has been fantastic. We've not had to go through a third person. It's been really useful for everyone, I think, to be able to feel comfortable in that environment and to ask questions. So we've learned a lot about the triangle, ASO, ISO, shutter speed, aperture. It's been really interesting in, in working out how to allow the three work together. Um, we've also been taught how to direct a model and um you know i think everybody's had a great day on the tennis court it's been really interesting taking photographs so the weather's been helpful as well thank you very much hi my name's anthony wake and i've really enjoyed the course everyone's practicing here behind me now it's been great and it's a lovely day yeah yeah absolutely there's been no problems we've all used british sign language has been much better than being taught with hearing people thank you very much Hi, my name is Robert. I've learned so much this weekend. We've talked about the triangle and I felt quite stuck with the shutter speed. I didn't, couldn't grasp that. And the way he taught us, it was a, a big light bulb moment and thinking about the seconds of the shutter speed. I mean, it was, it was brilliant. He had such a good way of adapting his tuition to meet the needs of the students. Um, we've got two models here now and we're taking photographs so we can see the difference in doing that in the shade or in the light and then also how to change the control of the camera. Oh absolutely I'm a lot more confident in using the the triangle but I, I'm I think I need to think a little bit more about positioning of the models I think I'm going to try and practice that over the next few weeks. It's been so useful um, before then. Before this course, I've done bits and pieces, but my photos never came out the way that I expected. So just to, sh just to have the information from the photographer, the trainer himself, has really given us um, a lot more skills and confident. One day, I'm going to be a professional. Hi, my name is Dawn Marshall. I have come on this weekend um, because the last course that was run I missed, unfortunately. Johnny's very well known and he's rare within the deaf community, so it's it's very rare to have an opportunity to be taught by a deaf person themselves, but also have a cohort of deaf students only. Um, it's been a fantastic learning curve. You know, when you go to a camera club, you're sharing information, but to be honest, a lot of that information, um, you know, has fallen on deaf ears essentially because I wasn't aware of the technical um, facilities of the camera so I've thoroughly enjoyed this weekend. Yeah absolutely the deaf club was fantastic the room was really appropriate the deaf environment itself is it was the main thing um, maybe the room was a bit small maybe next time we need a bit more room to move around but presentations and the learning materials are really great and well organized I suppose the main thing that I've learned from Johnny is to practice 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 <laughs> 